Hi, Kim Hothead here, and I just came from the Scoff Fest. And I just want to give a shout out to the Scoff Fest people. Kudos. It was fun. Um, great music, great bands, great vibe. Good people working there. Good lineup. It's cool. And then it was free for folks like myself who are a little bit on the short side of money, being on disability and all that. I just wanted to say that what was also free was the police state and I just want to warn the tourists in Victoria like uh, Victoria is in a police state right now oh, okay well me and uh, just walking from down at the whale wall over here in the street lane which is about two blocks we've already actually seen like eight cops, eight cops. Um, I witnessed uh, police go up to a couple on the grass on the hill um, start chatting with them nothing was happening I, they were just sitting there and I guess one officer asked uh, the female for her cigarette package and she made the mistake of giving it to him and just to help inform Victoria citizens that unless the police have a warrant they cannot just ask for your things to look through them and if they threaten to arrest you follow them through on their bluff because they need a reason to arrest you and then you get a lawyer and I totally advise tourists who are coming to Victoria and also Victorians find out who your lawyers are in town because the police state is that bad, that's what I witnessed. I was carrying a can of coconut water, and a police officer approached me very assertively and seriously, inquiring as to the can. And I just ignored the question, kind of showed the can, even though I really didn't have to, it was kind of obvious, and just kept walking, because I'm not into chatting with police officers on the job, harassing citizens who are trying to enjoy the ska fest. They had four police officers, two cadets, three vehicles, other police officers came and went. For what? It's a party. And um, I have to come to my porch to smoke a cigarette without having cops on me because I roll my own. But anyways, and I also smoke medicine. And I'm glad that the uh, decriminalization movement is in full effect because we need that. And I can't believe that the Victoria citizens, BC citizens, are pushing for decriminalization, but the neoconservative Harper government is making the police jack everyone up in the public space, which we don't have anymore. We don't have any public space, and I'm going to put a little... Uh, Susan Boyd did an interview uh, for Taking the Fall, as you know, Taking the Fall and Rising, the film on the state of homelessness and the police state around it, and solutions to homelessness. And she talked about public space and how in Europe there's actually public space still, in parts of Europe anyways, and there's none here. So. This kind of regulation, you know, and bylaws uh, just exacerbates the problem and it individualizes it so it feels like it's that individual person's, you know, um, infraction or problem. Mm -hmm. And in fact, it's really is related to this much larger mm -hmm. issue that we have of criminalizing poor people and, and making them so much more vulnerable. And I think we can see that, that you know, moving people away from city centers and saying you can only be in some places and not others, people can't access the health care that they need, they can't access the harm reduction services that they need. They can't access family members, um, you know, and I wonder, like, what for? Like, who is the city space for then in Victoria? Is it just for the tourists and uh, the MPs? You know, I just don't understand. It's certainly not for everybody. You know, that's what these bylaws are telling us. So, uh, do we want our public space back? Anyways. Enjoy the rest of Ska Fest, and uh, sorry for the, you know, I just want to apologize to someone that lives in Victoria. I'm going to apologize to the tourists, sorry, but, you know, we're trying to deal with the police state here, and we can use any help we can get. Take care, Kim Hothead, a.k.a. Mr. YouTube, signing off.